Okay, so this is a short video talking about why the gradient is the, the direction of the st steepest ascent. In other words, y gradient is direction of the maximum increase of muscular value in the field. Okay, so here I just use a 2D exa example. Assuming I have a 2D scalar field represented by f, x, y, and uh, you want to find uh, the direction of the steepest ascent. So we basically want to figure out if I get a small change to x and a small change to y, I don't know the relationship about that x and that y, we'll figure out later on, and minus f, x, y, and divide by the delta x squared plus delta y squared, it sort of will make a it's also the unit, it move a unit distance and how that affects the change of my uh, scalar value. Okay, to do so, we basically want to maximize that. Okay, to do so, we just start with computation of this, uh, this uh, the, numer the numerator. The denominator would keep the end change. The numerator, we can write this as f x plus delta x y plus delta y and we do minus f x plus delta x y and we plus f x plus delta x y and minus f x y apparently the, these two terms are the same so they can cancel out the reason we do so is we try to figure out these two different terms of course our denominator will be the same delta x squared plus delta y squared okay so the first one because the x plus delta x does not change and the y is changing so this is the same as if you can do this one as f x plus delta x y plus delta y minus f x plus delta x and y we do a small trick divide by delta y time delta y that's the same and plus we we'll do the same trick similar trick f x plus delta x y minus f x y and then divide by delta x and time delta x okay and again I divide by square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared okay so we can approximate this one. This one is just a partial derivative. First one is partial f x plus delta x and y over partial y and time delta y. Plus the second one will be the partial derivative is partial f x y over partial x time delta x over square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. The reason we can do it as a partial derivative, but typically we get this delta x and delta y to be really, really small because we want to just calculate at this point what's the direction. We're going to find a very small step change and how that change will increase my scalar value the most. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so by doing so, you can sort of see here what's going to happen is this one, because delta x against the delta x and the delta y is very, very, very small. So you make them very, very small. So this one is also the same as a partial f x and y over partial y times delta y plus partial f x y partial x delta x and the square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. Now it comes to a point we rewrite this one as so this is just the we can rewrite this one as a dot product is a vector push f x y over push x we just swap the two a little bit and push f x y over push y dot product of delta x delta y divide by square root of delta x squared plus delta y squared. Now you sort of can see what's going to happen over here. So I give you some reasoning about this. Let's assume that, so this gives us a direction, right, a vector, right? So I can project the vector, this 2D vector, if this one I can project the delta y, delta x, delta y, onto two cases, okay? One is just on top of, 
we'll project vector just onto the direction of this vector, right? So I have project this one into two components. So I get a one is data x1, data y1, which is just along the direction of partial f x y partial x partial f x y partial y. The other one is projected to the perpendicular to this one guy, right? So it's just data x2, data y2. So apparently data x1, data y2, because they are perpendicular to this guy, so the dot product is just zero. So which means this guy is just equal to partial f x y over partial x, partial f x y, partial y. Because I can write this one as a sum of two, basically. And the second one is zero, because this one is perpendicular to my uh, the, the vector created by the gradient. So the dot product will be zero. So it's just dot data x1, data x2, data y1. OK, and divide by data x squared plus data y squared. OK, because the projection of this guy and of this guy, projection of this guy, so the length of, the length of data x, uh, sorry, let's just do one more time. Because they are the same direction, right? The project, the data x1 data is projection of this data x onto this one. So this one is just the same as guy, the same direction. So according to the dot product, it's just the length of partial f x y partial x uh, f x y partial y. So this is the length of the vector times the length of the vector data x1, data y1. Cosine angle, cosine right, because the angle is just zero, right? Same angle, so it's cosine zero, they just become one. And divide by data x squared plus data y squared. So the length, because the length of this guy, so the length of this guy is the same, okay, it's, it's fixed. This guy, the length of this guy is always less than or equal to this one, unless, unless the projection on this, the projection of this guy on my vector created by the gradient is the same as it's itself, meaning that the maximum value of this achieved, the numerator achieves the largest value if data x1, data y1 is equal to data x and data y. In other words, data x, data y has the same direction as data x1, no, partial f x y over partial x, partial f, x, y, over partial y. Okay, which which means you achieve the largest numerator when the data x dx has the same direction as the direction created by the gradients, meaning that then then you have the maximum value. That's that's the reason why the gradient will give you a largest increase, so which means if you change your data x and data y along, change it along the direction of your, the direction of the gradient, the dot product will be the maximum. And you divide by the same value, then which will give you the largest, the steepest ascent. So I hope this will be uh, helpful to understand why the gradient provides the steepest ascent.